grip fighting, this time against the sleeve grip. Now there are multiple ways to grab the sleeve. If he has a high grip, which is at my elbow or above, that is less problematic because I can still move my arm and take a good grip. Um, a lower grip near my wrist, that is usually the bad one because now he has a lot of control over my arm and it's very difficult for me to take a good grip myself. So I have to get rid of that. There are old ways like this one where you use your own leg that's currently forbidden, so don't do that. Then there are other ways which are, I'd say, suboptimal, where you use your second hand, like this one where I just push his hand away. That breaks all the grips. Um, it's very shito risky because it's very defensive. I can't attack him and I need my second hand for that. I usually want to keep my second hand on him to have some sort of control over him. But there are better options. My personal favorite one is this one. I just wrap my hand around his. I go inside, under, to the outside, as close as possible to his wrist. And when I'm on the outside, I push his hand in between us. And that usually breaks the grip. So once more, he has a grip. Inside, under, outside, push in. And then I catch his sleeve while I do that. And now I can immediately pretend to attack or actually attack, which is good. What you should not do is um, this, where you just break the grip and let go. That is very defensive. That is shido risky. Maybe not the first time you do it, but if you do it multiple times, that's bad. So instead, break his grip and immediately put on pressure. That's always good. So grab, uh, you go inside, under him, outside, push in, catches, sleeve, and attack. <clears throat> Another option, which also ends with me having a good grip, is this one. I pull my arm back into my own sleeve as far as I can, and then I grab his wrist as high up as I can. Now, I want it between my thumb and my forefingers. Now, I take a step back, I bow down, and push his hand towards his knee. While pushing down, that uh, increases the distance between my wrist and my, or my hand and my sleeve. And because I'm, have, I'm fixing his hand, his grip can break. Just like that. It's very important not to stay down there. That's a very bad position. He can just take my back and throw me, and I don't want that. Instead, get up quickly, Use the grip that you have and immediately apply pressure. Applying pressure is just always a very, very good idea. And you can just keep the grip on the wrist for that. That's perfectly fine. All right, have fun with that. <laughs>